Wonder if anything has changed in the rooms. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. It's an empty photo frame. Someone's dusted it off. A box of kid shoes. A lamp. It felt strange to lie in the bed. It feels entirely too small for you now. Okay, I don't think that was something mo most people noticed. It's Toriel's diary. Read the circled passage. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. The rest is pa if rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. Earlier you identified this as bigger than a twin size bed, but now you realize it's actually one size bigger than a double. Still just you, Frisk. So there, there's a bit of a headcanon going around that another character is narrating Frisk's journey. And I'm now that I'm going through like the beginning areas of the game again. Like it's it, it, it's an interesting headcanon, and I actually really like it. There's some white fur. Most of the pie is gone. There are dog prints in it. Gingerbread monsters. There's a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Huh. Yeah, I hope you love this music, because this is easily one of my favorite tracks in the game. So I never went right. I never ever went this way. Ribbit, ribbit. Seems like the ruins have finally opened up. Ribbit, maybe we should now finally go out to the rest of the underground. Huh, the bear is open too. Let's just take this one step at a time, okay? Ribbit. You found the toy knife. This was the first upgrade, weapon upgrade that I just completely ignored. Cause I'm a dingus. I'd stay on the critical path. Oh, this room. Thankfully, I don't have to do any of the puzzles. Woo! No puzzles! Ba -ba. Ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. Actually, did I? I don't think I saw the frog. <laughs> What's over here? Oh, the bake sale! Yeah, I'll help. Okay. The room we fought naps to look in. Looks like the cheese has a nibble taken out of it. The mouse got the cheese! The mouse got the cheese! Yeah! The exit opens, guess I better roll out. Am I giving me a push? Ha. <laughs> Up! Oh. <laughs> Immediately! But we're almost back to the very beginning. I think just a few more rooms. I hear that using the computer too long is bad for you. However, I have not seen you use the computer at all. You must be very healthy. Oh. Oh. Thanks, goat mom. Ribbit, ribbit. What? Aw. I never went up here either. This is candy. You take another, you feel like the scum of the earth. You try to take a piece of candy, but you didn't have any room. <laughs> I am a monster! No! The candy! Look at what I've done! No! I think we're only a f few rooms left. I think I may have to turn off the phone for now. Your friends are all very lovely people. I think I will spend this time getting to know them better. Be good, alright? Sincerely, Toriel. <laughs> well, I think that's the last of the text messages. I wonder. No response. Their phones might be out of batteries. Oh, the dummy! Ah, oh, I can't talk to him again? <laughs> oh, the labels. So I was told there was something interest. No way. Don't worry about me. Someone has to take care of these flowers. No! <laughs> no! No! No!
Chris, why did you come here? Everyone knows the legend, right? Travelers who climb Mount Ebit are said to disappear. Chris, why would you ever climb a mountain like that? Was it foolishness? Was it fate? Or was it because you, well, only you know the answer, don't you? I know why Nikki climbed the mountain. It wasn't for a very happy reason. Frisk, I'll be honest with you. Nikki hated humanity. Why they did, they never talked about it. But they felt very strongly about that. You really are different from Nikki. In fact, though you have similar, uh, fashion choices, I don't know why I ever acted like you were the same person. Maybe the truth is, Nikki wasn't really the greatest person. Well, Frisk... You're the type of friend I wish I always had. So maybe I was kind of projecting a little bit. Let's be honest. I did some weird stuff as a flower. There's one last thing I feel like I should tell you. Frisk, when Nikki and I combined our souls together, the control over our body was actually split between us. They were the one that were picked up their own empty body, and then when we got to the village, they were the one that wanted to, to use our full power. I was the one that resisted, and then, because of me, we, well, that's why I ended up being a flower, Frisk. This whole time I blamed myself for that decision. That's why I adopted that horrible view of the world, kill or be killed. But now, after meeting you, Frisk, I don't regret that decision anymore. I did the right thing, if I killed those humans. We would have had to wage war against all of humanity. And in the end, everyone went free, right? I still feel kind of sad knowing how long it took. So maybe it wasn't a perfect decision. But you can't regret hard choices your whole life, right? Well, not that I have much of a life left. <laughs> That's the sad before! Thank you for listening to me. Please. See me. Don't think of it as me, okay? I just want you to remember me like this. Someone that was your friend for a little while. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no no! Don't kill and don't be killed. Oh no! I will see you next time. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below about something. I don't know what. I will see you next time for the true finale. So let's let the good times roll.